In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a grid in Power BI, which will help you a lot when you want to align your report in Power BI. So I'm going to show you step by step how you can create this, how you can implement this, and also really handy how you can just copy and paste a grid that you really like in the future. So let's go into Power BI. Here we are looking at one of my reports and everything's there. The only thing that's really bugging me is that it's not so nice organized. So this is not what I want to present to my end user. I want to create a grid and I can show you how that looks like, like this to actually be able to align everything. So everything that, uh, for example, if this would look like this, I would see, oh, I need to put this in there and then give it this size. And then when I hide my grid, I see everything's aligned. So this is what I want. I want these guidelines actually that help me to design my report. So how are we going to do that? I'm going to show you. I'm in my unorganized report again. So first I want a clean canvas. So I'm going to the selection pane. Once the selection pane is opened, I want to hide everything I'm seeing in my current report because I want to create my grid and I don't want to be bothered by anything at this moment. So what I do is I click on hide and everything is hidden. So now it looks like there's nothing. Of course, there's things going on. They're still there. If you would press show, they would all pop up again. You see, everything's back. So you don't delete anything, you just hide it. So now we have this clean canvas. And what I want to do to create my grid, it's actually, I'm adding shapes. And why am I adding shapes? It's in Power BI, it's easy, and they're quite easy to configure. So I'm going to insert shapes, and I choose the rectangle. And now I start with my grid top line, and I, I want this outline. I don't want my a report to be from side to side and top to bottom. I want some space in there. So I'm creating kind of a line shape. And if I go to format, I go to size and style, I can choose the height and width. And width is like my whole page at the moment and height is 12 and this is fine. So what I'm doing is I click on it and I control C, control V, I make a copy of it. And I do it again, again, and again. So now I have quite some of these kind of lines here. And what I'm doing is I put one at the top and one at the bottom of my page. And now you maybe wonder, how do I arrange all these lines in the same distance? I can't even arrange my report. There's an easy way, just click on them, hold control pressed and click on each of these lines and then go to format, align, distribute, vertically. Now they're all distributed vertically. Now there's one thing before we go on. When we look at my organized report, what I'm always doing is I also use a header and I have one row for my KPIs and I don't want them to be in the same distance uh, as the rest. So I'm already at this point going to say I want a header and this will be like this and you need to play around a little bit for your what's your preference here and I want another line for my KPIs and it will be something like this again you can also rearrange this later on and you can make changes but I'm just using this at the moment and now I want to rearrange the other things again so I'm holding control pressed again and I just arrange these four so I'm not clicking on the top two and I go to format and distribute vertically and you see now they have the same distance again and if you know this is like the canvas where you're working on in this case we would have like probably six visuals like one two three four five six something like that and i know i'm going to use four so i'm going to remove again one of them and then again i do the same thing hold control go to format align distribute vertically. So you see it's really easy once you know where to click. So now I want the the other lines for the side and if I copy this it's again 12 but I don't want this to be 12 because I want it to be at the side. So I'm going to move this around a little bit and 
I go to size and style again. So I select the design, go to size and style. And there I say with 12. If you've chosen 15 or something else, make sure to change it. And then, then again, I copy them one at the left, one at the right. And then I make enough of these lines. So I have a grid. And again, you can change that later on again. I select all of them and I say align and distribute horizontally. And now you wonder what if I accidentally click on something and it moves. Make sure you go to your selection pane and you select all of these shapes. You can do that by pressing on the one at the bottom and then hold shift and the one at the top and right click group. I make a group of them. Why? I can also hide them. So now if I want to bring back like my report to see if this grid works for me, I could show the visual again. And now you see, for example, I have my header here. And if I click on it, I could rearrange it to fit this grid like this. And then we know, okay, our header fits. And now I bring back all the other visuals to see how this works. And now this is kind of hard because our grid is in front of our visuals and it's really nice because we grouped it it can't move but it's also quite tough to find anything here so i'm going to move the group with the grid you can by the way give it a different name by double clicking on it and just call it grid and now the grid is kind of in the background and i can just pick up my visuals like this one and put it in there and power bi will guide you also in there it will kind of lock in a little bit so I'm going to rearrange these things. So now I already know my KPIs, they have the same distance. And here we see, oh, this isn't quite working because the title is too long. So I could choose to make it double as long, or this could also be the point where I'm saying, maybe I want to have one of these grid lines less. So I could double click on it because we grouped it. You need to double click on it to remove it. I remove it and then I double click again once and then I hold control and press all the grid lines that we have left here. And then I go again to format, distribute horizontally. See they're distributed again. And now I can make the changes I want to make. And you can play around with this a little bit because you could also say, I want a different grid structure in the top than at the bottom. Here we see it's still not entirely working. I select all of my grid lines. I say distribute. And again, I make the changes I want to make. There we are. Finally, this works out. So we know they all have the same distance also now which is quite nice for the end user to look at. And then I have these three visuals and I make these two a little smaller for you to see. Now I want to add this visual and I could of course choose to use this little grid here, but I only have three of these visuals. So I could also choose these four. You see the distance from the other visuals is still the same. I just choose to use four of these compartments. And here for this one, I choose three of them. And for this one, I also choose three of them. So everything's arranged now. Now you of course want to see, does this make the impact I wanted to have? And you can easily do that by hiding the grid. And there you see everything's nicely aligned, same distance everywhere in your report, which is really easy to look at. And if you ever want to make a change to this, just unhide the grid, make the changes you want to make. And at the beginning, I said you can reuse these things. It's really easy. If you click on selection and click on your group there, press Ctrl C and you open a new page in Power BI and press Ctrl V, it's there. So what you also could do and what I would advise you is create a few of these grids that work for you, that work for your end user, and just save them in a Power BI file. And then whenever you need one of these, open the Power BI file, copy, paste, there you have your grid. So you're just doing this once. So I hope this helps you. I really 
like using these grids because they make it so much easier to arrange everything in my reports. And they're also really, really easy to use for the end user. So I'm a consultant and when I'm not working at a client anymore and they want to make changes to their layout or, the, or they want to add a visual, for example, they would want to add a visual here, they can actually open it, rearrange it, add a visual here or make some changes to the grid. It's really easy. They don't need any external tool. They can do it in Power BI and explaining how these shapes work is not that difficult. So let me know, do you use grids like this? 